welcome to the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute. My name is Catherine Berry, and this is Yanina Zeman. We are here working on the Caribe project, and we're studying the uh, adaptability of corals to anthropogenic impacts. I'm studying the feeding behavior of corals. So I'm investigating how different it is between sites and how they are reacting to sedimentation and pollution and eutrophication from the banana plantations. And Kathleen is mainly studying pollution impacts to corals, like how the harbor is infecting them, impacting them, and how the fertilization of the banana plantations, which are huge here, are impacting them, and is looking into the coral inside. Come along for the ride. We're going to Almirante Harbor, um, which is one of my study sites. Um, the area is largely impacted uh, by large shipping vessels and also um, household sewage. And the experiment we're running this week is to see whether corals from within and outside the bay accumulate pollutants at different rates and how they're reacting on a cellular level to those impacts. Miranda Harbor. This is a harbor which is mainly shipping vessels with bananas and like three to six vessels are going in every day which is actually leading to a strong pollution, heavy metal pollution mainly in this area we are working in here. Also this bay is strongly impacted from fertilizer and pesticide runoff from the banana plantations more land inwards. And another problem here is sedimentation. So mainly most of the life has been killed here already, but we could find one little coral patch in which one coral is very dominant. And this is what we're going to investigate, what makes this certain species being able to live in here whereby all other coral species has been died already. We are going to show you our study site now. Come dive down with us. in front of the aquaculture of the Smithsonian Institution and I'm running here an experiment in the aquarium. So this follows. As you can see here, those are my aquaria and I'm actually feeding the corals with plankton and they are from different sites. I have two different species and I'm comparing if their feeding uptake differs between sides, between strongly impacted sides and less strong impacted sides. 